Peace to the family. It's Brother Polite reporting to you live from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. And I'm in I'm in route right now to be on my Good Samaritan vibe. And so I'm here. What's up? Yeah, I got it right here. I gave you the system number, right? Cool. And after that, we're gonna dip a little further in the hood. Do what we gotta do. Yeah, peace to the family. So you know, it's nothing like being back in Brooklyn, babe. Nothing like being back in Brooklyn. Had an awesome event over there at the Barclays Theater yesterday. You know, everything worked out pretty good. It was real nice. Great to see the supporters out. You know, many of my supporters apparently are boxing fans. Well, many of my supporters are everywhere. So it was a good look. So I wanted to talk to you today about how important is positivity. And does positivity equate to amassing wealth? And this is an absolute fact. Positivity definitely is associated to amassing wealth. Hey, what's up, King? You already. Thanks for listening, my brother. Yeah, so positivity. You know, that's how it is, man. I tell you, I don't stage these thank yous and peace. <laughs> I'll be all over these Brooklyn streets. I'm always going to get that love. These are all facts. But I want to talk to you about how important is positivity and retrospect to amassing wealth. <clears throat> Truth be told, a lot of us are broke because a lot of us are negative. And we just had this vibe like we got to stop saying certain things like, I just knew things wasn't going to work out. Or you know what? Things were going so good. I just knew something had to happen. We got to stop talking like that. Because when you talk like that, that really creates a negative space in your mind. And what that does is compromise the integrity of your auretic shell, which in principle is your magnetic property. The way you think creates magnetism. Okay? It sets off your magnetism for you to either compel or impel, repel people. Facts. Facts. Kimberly said, I got to get my body like the missus. Look at that natural woman. See her hair? That natural hair is a magnet in itself for positivity. I'm going to tell you why. Because when a brother see a sister with natural hair, it's very different from when he see a sister with any other type of hair. When he see a sister with another type of hair in the hood, he go, hey, what up, ma? Oh, bitch, you ain't responding? Oh, peace, baby. Can I talk to you? Grab a hand. All sorts of stuff. While even acknowledging her right to space and privacy. But when he see a sister with a natural, he go, what's up, queen? What's up, Empress? This is what he says. And the reason why he says that is because she's wearing her crown. So automatically, when the brother or sister sees a woman with a crown, they automatically hold on regard as royalty. So they'll say, what's up, queen? What's up, Empress? You know, they'll, they'll be very respectful because it's something about that presentation, something about that demonstration. So that in itself also brings about a certain level of positivity. We're in the crown. These are facts. Make sure you share this information. So positivity amasses wealth. And sometimes you gotta be willing to go the extra step to be positive on planet Earth. Because a lot of people confide in negativity. A lot of people confide in negativity. So you gotta be willing to go the extra distance just to enforce positivity in your personal space, in your personal place. These are all facts. These are all facts. <clears throat> you got to be willing to go out your way. To go the distance. Because if you conform to the negative approach of most people, then you'll never be able to get off the ground. And that's why traveling is so very important. Sometimes you got to be willing to leave your domestic dwelling. To get away from the multitude that don't believe that they can make it. Sometimes you got to be willing to just say, you know what? I'm out of here. Because over here is filled with so much people who got such low ambition that that low ambition clause is now manifesting itself in my reality. And now I've, I'm now coming to terms with myself that I won't be able to succeed. Because everyone around me thinks that they either won't be able to succeed or don't strive to be greater than what they actually have the potential to be. So that's why positivity has to be associated with your ability to succeed 
It has to be associated with your ability to amass wealth. These are absolute facts. These are absolute facts. You got to be willing to change the direction of your thought, to change the direction of your life. All facts. These are all facts. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, right now, thank you, family. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, Paris. I'm one of the best I ever attempted to do it. All right, so right now, even last night, I was walking in the street, in the, in the rough and rugged streets of Brooklyn, having a good time. Just left a little hood club, say what up to the people. And here it is, I seen this iPhone on the floor. So when I seen this joint on the floor, I was saying to myself, man, I don't know if this person, if a person might have dropped it from out of a cab, but it's just weird that it happens to be on the floor. So I picked it up and it looked brand new. Looks brand new. Feel me, it's this one right here. <clears throat> Looks brand new. You know, I don't deal with, with iPhones. I'm saying something now right now. I'm loving it. But the reality is, I saw the number pick up. I was waiting for someone to call it. I saved the number. And what I did, elected to do is I told the sister today, I called the sister. And I'm like, yo, wherever you at, I'm going to drop it off to you. I don't live in New York no more, but I'm going to make sure I get this to you. You feel me? And it's like, she was in awe. Like, yo, what the hell? I'm driving around. I'm looking for the phone and everything. I'm like, it's all love, sis. Now, what I'm doing with this positivity, and I got stuff I got to do. And I got places I got to go. And my life is just as important as anyone else's. But, <clears throat> I, yeah, call it. I got a moral obligation and responsibility to make sure that I get this phone to the sister. Because how many of you have ever lost a phone and wish you dealt with a person like me that actually found it and went out their way to give it back to you? You see what I'm saying? How many of us actually go on our way to do that? Say, you know what? This phone is lost. Let me give it back. You know, it's a very hurtful feeling when you know you got your... Huh? It's a hurtful feeling when you got your images and all that other stuff. Oh. Hi. Yes. Here you go. Oh, hey. There you go. Do you want, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you. I know you probably were visiting people here. I'm yeah. Here for your trouble. I, really I don't need no money. I ain't doing it. Yeah, so we got to. You, you're all dressed up. You will have a nice We got to live better than that. It's not, right. it's not well, like that. Thank you so much. Thank like, y'all, man. Makes me I feel appreciate like this. People shit. are good people. Still yeah. good people on planet Earth. I know. So I'm safe back to All right. Day. Yeah. Well, thought it was a sister. Damn, I could have kept me from it. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> nah, man, I'm not gonna take no money for doing what I'm supposed to do. Man, we gotta, yo, you know, we can get some tamarind. Oh, they have the good mango. Get some, hold on, hold on, y'all. We gotta take a little intermission. I'm in Brooklyn for this. Two dollars. Yeah. Oh, get those ones. Those ones really, two for three dollars. Come on, come on. This is why I love Brooklyn. I, I want this. And this thing is over 24 hours. I like hours. the Haitian mango. Yeah, yeah, we can do the Haitian mango. Give me one sweet mango, give me the Haitian mango, okay? And then, get some tamarind. You have to have me with bags down here. I should have brought the book bag. Yeah, the avocados are good too, baby. Dang, hold on, y'all, real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure my wife is coming. I want some of this guava. Mm -hmm. Make sure you add these guava, this guava to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Cause she might forget. She's coming right now. Okay. She got the afro. She's the only natural woman coming in the store. All right? mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, she's not the only natural woman. Let me stop that. Another sister here, natural. Oh, Martinelli's. This is the best apple juice right here, family. And I like it because they put it in glass. So. <sighs> okay, make sure she also gets this right here. Make sure you those two in this. And, um, you got any tamarind? Sweet tamarind. Tamarind, sweet tamarind. Yeah. Okay. Anything smaller? I'll, okay. Oh, that's the which one's the spicy one? Spicy. 
I want this one. I want the spicy one. Okay. Let me just put this right here, sister. All right. Yeah, it's good to be around my people. <coughs> All right, so babe, I put some tamarind and guava and Martinelli apple juice over there. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Man, miss being over. They ain't got this in LA. I said they ain't got this in Beverly Hills. We gotta catch wreck. I'm out to get all. I'm out to do like the Caribbean cats do and get a barrel and send that shit to Cali. Like I'm sending it to out the country. <laughs> you know, they just be buying the barrels down the block. Ah oh, man. Yo, we gonna smuggle that Kalu to Cali. Where the Kalu at? Yo, we gonna we gonna bring some back. Oh, shucky ducky. Is that Kalu over there? Man. How much a bongo for the pound? How much a Kalu, yo? Two ninety nine a pound. Good man. Bless your heart. He is a good man. I'm all over that. Dang, look at that Kalu. Look how beautiful that is. Which one, Baba? Now come, now one. Yeah, I'm gonna get some. I'm all live. All these people watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't live here no more, but hey, yeah, this guy, this guy look real good. Make this with some pasta. Remember, you used to make the angel hair, spell angel hair with the kalu and okra. Hey, you doing that tonight, aren't you? You making that tonight, right? Hell yeah, I want it tonight. Guess what? I'm about to walk back to the crib and drop all that shit off. <laughs> Kidding me? Pardon me, y'all. I'm just excited right now. Hold on. We about to build right now. We about to finish up our build. We about to finish up our build. <clears throat> look at this. Herbs and all that. Look at that. So we go get some. Oh, look at that. They got sorrow. Babe, we got to cop some sorrow before we leave, too. I'm about to. And we got to come back and get this guava piece. I'm going to get a bag. Because, yeah. you know, we have one carry-on. So yeah, we got to get a new carry-on. Uh, Definitely gotta get a new carry on. Yeah, we need that sea moss, sorrow, all over that. No problem, sister. Yeah, man, this is home, yo. Man, this is real stuff, man. Oh yeah, she got that car a little. Oh, man, you know I love the car a Grow up on that. It's good when you get it fresh. Yeah, yeah, the can is horrible. You don't want no canned food. That's a fact, sis. You don't want no damn canned food. <clears throat> man, I love. Oh man, this is a part of our home. Woo, wash mine too. I want the sweet mango, then okay. I'm going to finish my day with the Haitian mango. I'm coming back and get some, that's all I know. Yeah, yeah. You let my wife wash that mango, King? Good looking. Thanks a lot, man. Where she wash it at? I ain't been here in a while. I forgot, I forgot. Oh, there we go. Hi. It's a good man, man. What's your name? What's your name? Michela. Michela? Yeah. Let's go. Where you from? Mexico. Mexico, see, so you know, I mean, I like the Haitian mango, but I love Mexican food. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my daughter, I think she part Mexican, man. All she eat is Mexican food all day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, taco. She love taco, man. And the burrito. She likes the burrito. She love burrito, burrito. man. <clears throat> but you go, you know, you got good herbs, too, man. Yeah. I went to Mexico, I got some good herbs, real, real healthy. Where you from? I'm from, actually, I, I grew up here, but I live in California now. But my family's from Nigeria, and then my grandparents is from Panama and Barbados. You know, so, multi-culture genetically. But yeah, Mexicans got a good thing going. That food is good, man. Facts.
Can you put this back? Yeah, thank you. Can you Word. put this back? I can't come back to New York. What's wrong with people? I come from one of the roughest hoods in New York. And in it right now. Like, come on, man. Now I'm going to the 90s. We just walked through Brownsville. We're going to the 90s. And we live. So you pull up, knock yourself out. You know, no matter what time I do it, they say that's not the hour you're supposed to go in the hood. If it's 2 a.m., it was too early. Grimy people have curfew. They're not out. Come out in the afternoon. No one's out in the afternoon. Come on. People going to work. Oh, the grimy people go to work. I don't know, but I don't come out to prove no point. I come out just to connect with my people and eat mangoes. Facts. Man. But yeah, we gotta go back to a conversation about positivity. This is dope. Hmm? 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 Man. I would really wish I wasn't on live right now. Because mangoes is one of those foods you absolutely positively want to eat it messy damn I should have brought the book bag if I brought the book bag I would have loaded up but then I would have wild out I had all sorts of fruits and vegetables and I would break my damn back no we gonna eat what's in it I didn't ask you to get a bag worth of stuff so we could just carry it with us all day look at that R.I.P.R.G. Going up. Look at those. Yeah, we the Giuseppe, Giuseppe team. Nice. Nice. We in the hood. Nigga at work. Let's see if I see my people here. No. Oh, that's where my man. What up? All right. <laughs> Chilling? Yeah, yeah, what's good, man? Come on, what's up, Chilling, man. Just kept it. Yes. How cut, man? Cut you right. Yeah, I hear somewhere. Running around being a dick. You know what I'm saying? How are you? You good? What's good, though? You all right? I'm chilling, King. <laughs> of course I, of course I eat the skin. Of course I eat the skin. That's where all the nutrients are. All right, King, I check you. I see you busy. I check you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with the video business with you now? I'm, I'm doing my thing, teaching and shape, mentoring. My little, my little, my little nephew. You just got signed cash money. Oh, where? Just get a nigga 100000 and a bet me. Nice. I don't got that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you always been fly. Fuck it. It seemed like you've been signed for years. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm signed to this. Which so, is dope because then you could do what you do for love because you're already eating. You know what cracked me up? When I see niggas do things that I used to do. Mm -hmm. And I look and I say, you just start writing that out? Hell, man. That's old, man. Look. I, you gotta wipe the bottom I, of your sneakers instead of buying a new pair? I grew up this brother. He yeah. always been fly. <laughs> always. A lot of dudes, a lot of dudes sit there. Oh, I gotta buy a new outfit. Why? You know not a person clean your shit or Facts. Oh, you gotta go to the cleaners? Why should cold water hang dry? They don't come from that. You know what I'm saying? Iron your shit after your shit is crispy. Mm -hmm. and nobody wanna do that. Everybody wanna be fly without without no the work rules, ethic. Without no rules to it too. So it's yeah. like you, yo, this whole this whole society, son, you can't even study them, you'll die. Because it's a fact. This, this shit is the internet fuck everybody up. This is a fact. The, everybody. Fact. So the internet is down. Like my kids be saying shit, but how you know that? You even can't. even people's ability to socialize can now they just want to like from virtual people yeah. instead of real people liking them. But they're gonna go copy now, Smutty. They say I got a thousand friends. I'm gonna go copy that key now. But they don't got a thousand authentic friends, they got a thousand virtual friends. Mm -hmm. And it makes them feel better than real people. It does. <laughs> it does. It does. Facts. A lot of people out here have to tell you about over here. This is a neighborhood 
for people that can't get these stuff together. Reg, what's up? Mm -hmm. Are y'all just checking us once you know? Huh? I have to clean up my house. Your house is that big? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. This brother here, his pops, helped me get off the streets. His pops used to buy jerseys for everybody. Y'all need to play basketball and go home and eat and wait for that meal. I don't play basketball and eat. Ah, nice. I never play basketball. Advance, it's squash. You can't play ball in there. Yeah, I know. You advance, you gotta chill. You gotta walking around with your red hair, you know what I'm saying? Yes, man. What you about? Yeah. This is. Come on. You already know what it is, man. What's wrong with you? These motherfuckers told you, man. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm not fucking with him. He did some bullshit a while ago. Where are you going? Tell me where you going. Just walking where? This way? Okay, sit there. The nigga left the store talking about he had to take a shit. My nigga, we got a bathroom, bro. Why would you leave the store, right? He was like running. <laughs> Listen, let him, let him stay home where he at. I don't got no time for playing right now. This is business we're running. Can't be doing shit like that. Locking the store and people come in. Okay, he, why did he came looking for me? Like, oh, what happened? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. The gen don't allow that. You know so that. Business coming, people's coming to buy. Okay, I just missed $30 because of you now. Facts. Like, oh, I had to take a shit. Yeah, right. You, you, one of your friends calling you, you just left. I'm talking about my son. And got up and just ran. So I said, I text him. I said, check this out. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at you and I don't hate you. But do not come back behind my counter. Mm. You don't come back behind my counter because you're going to make me look bad with people. Business. People like you will make people step in my face. I don't want you back behind the counter. You can get what you want at the store, but you can't go back behind my counter. You're not going to clown me like that. Come back here and two of your friends call you. Well, you facts. do this repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. I watch you do it. I came in here. I said, yo, wipe the glasses down in the store. Clean out the area back here so I can put some gums and stuff. I come in. I been told him. I left. Come back. Oh, he see me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go. You know what your problem is? You don't want to do nothing for nobody. You want to go on the phone and order shit and swipe. And swipe shit and do shit. So you see me in my all white and everything. And oh, oh, he, he fresh. He can go do him. I'm fresh. Right. I just went in the house and sit on the bag of mad weed. I'm tired. I ain't eat yet. I'm about to eat <laughs> french fries. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to eat some french fries right now. Like, look at this shit. I just came from Jamaica. Bag of stress. Today? The other day, son. You got black I got. Look, I'm telling you something. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo. Then my shorty. She bothered me. None of my bills. You didn't pay for my truck. You didn't do shit. You let you hold my truck so you can take your big eye fucking kid to school. Mm -hmm. Not my kid. My father don't want to give a fuck. And you're talking shit. I paid for your phone bill. Check this out. That shit is getting cut off. And you want to give my truck. Get the fuck away from me. Real you talk. Know? The fuck I look like? Take. I look like some old gas station nigga from up the block. Bitch, you older than me. Get the fuck out of here. Go get a job. Like, yo, y'all getting on my nerves. So yeah. they do this because people want to take away your energy. I leave, I'm in Jamaica, my mother them come in the store and come take out a whole bunch of shit. Uh -huh. I look on the video camera like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Come in, trying to destroy the place. All I got, got on my knees, I said, yo, my father's getting on my nerves. I see why he's acting like that. Teaching the youth. They, 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 no, he's not even teaching you. They took away his happiness, son. They took away his happiness, they took away his happiness, and they told him, like, basically, oh, who do you think he is? People fight this man down, son, because he see here, get up every day, and they gonna go no grind. shit. Yeah. Go where? I don't never know my father go nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga don't leave the turf. I'm lying. Facts. Many. I just yo. <clears throat> see if anything needed in the fridge, man. Right. I'll be the guy you think, man. All right. Go to the fridge. Just was telling the people. His pops pioneering the hood. Huh? When I was coming up over here, his pops bought the jerseys. You be here no, for so all of our teams, right? all ages. All right? So it's whether working, whether we had the money or not, his pop bought all the jerseys for our basketball team. Facts, facts, peace, God. Yeah, his pops bought all the jerseys for our basketball team, and used to hit me with bread whenever I was winning. I got MVP. He hit me with a bang. His pops used to show love. Just keep us off the streets. His pops do the grinding, and he just made sure us young brothers and everything, we could always participate in the tournament, the Puerto Rican tournament. Word. My man Minot. His brother Cutch. Dope dudes, man. Real good brothers. Quad sons. You can't live in the hood and don't know them. You know, unless you just kind of in and out your house and just about. But if you want these streets, like the yellow lines, like the white lines, then you gotta know them. You feel me? Are you 
because I asked for black owned stores in Brooklyn. There goes your black owned store. That's one of them. Of course, barbershops below, goddamn. We got mad barbershops. We look like we're in the Caribbean, right? And BK, BK is very Caribbean based. Look at that. You got the African stylized leggings. Come on, Brooklyn. Look at that. That's dope. Look at that idea right there. Look at that Egyptian philosophy all over there. That's dope. This is mean. Another black business. Look at that. Peace. Fire. And we didn't feel like going up the alleys on Utica. We went right over here and got our roti. Facts. I'm gonna show you the best Chinese food store in the world. <coughs> I'm gonna show you the best. But now we in the 90s. The nine outs, we just came out of Brownsville. Now you're in the 90s, you're, you're in East New York. Slash Crown Heights as we walk further. On the cusp of the 50s. I know it's like a lot of different stuff going on, but that's the way this shit designed. I just joined Mad Neat. It's the first time. I ain't gonna lie to you. that mango I'm gonna tell you this you can't live in the hood in Brooklyn and not got these fruit and vegetable stands here it's just way too much Caribbean people here we need this <clears throat> this is our livelihood that's why I drink stay open 24 7 and this is the best Chinese food store in the world 94 from Rutland this Chinese food store is shit best joint in the world Put in a lot of pain over there. <laughs> Man, they doing something different with the chicken over there. I ain't gonna lie to you. You a chicken eater and you like the rice and wings, you gotta go to 94th and Rut. Actually 95th and Rut. It's close, it's closer than 95th and Rut. You gotta go to Rutland between 94th and 95th. And man, they'll put some shit on you. It was hard to go vegan. Eating that damn Chinese food so many years. <clears throat> Just flashbacking right now is enough to make me switch up. <laughs> yeah, this Caribbean town. All you're going to hear is I. They go little me he had day. You're going to hear Jama your Bajans. You're going to hear what the guan. Jamaicans, you're going to hear everybody here. A white Guyanese. It go down over here. You know, Caribbean people aggressive like a motherfucker. <laughs> no Jamaican spot, John Rock. <coughs> this is where we grow up, man. You gonna have nothing but Caribbean spots all over. The best food is gonna be in Brooklyn. I'm telling you, it's the best food anywhere you go. It's gonna be in BK. Hey, what's up, sis? Oh, all right. <laughs> she said she was just watching. Yeah, this is probably the location where we opening up the bookstore. We're working with the local.
books out here. So we open up a bookstore. I'm not asking for no bread back. I'm just gonna put the store here. It's just for the hood, it's just for the community. We need at least a bookstore in the middle of all these barber shops and beauty salons. Everybody's changing their nails, changing their nails and changing their hair. But we gotta get them to also change their mind. So we done had that conversation last time I came here. Word. Yeah, the, the different accents is what makes over here so beautiful, so special. <clears throat> hey, do me a favor. Call Loke. I gave you his. I gave you his number. Huh? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, Brooklyn got the food. I ain't, I ain't just saying that because I'm a Brooklyn resident. This is a place abundant in every type of food several times. Jamaican food, you gotta get several types. You gotta go just get Trinidadian food, you gotta get several types. You gotta go just get Trinidadian food, you gonna get several types. Grenadian food, like yo, we get every type of food here. So everybody in our hood, it's like mad strong. Sisters as thick as can be, like, cause we eat it over here. Like, we really be eating over here. It's crazy. We eat. You know? I thought I sent it to you. Hold on, family. Here we go, family. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry for the hold up. Sorry for the wait. Nah, he be won that fight, man. But you know, it wasn't nothing to brag about. He came on too late. He wasn't letting his hands go. Uh, but he been let, he let it go a lot more than he has been the last three fights. I think his adjustment that he made in a new trainer and all was dope. You know, I think he did a real good job with that. Michael Williams was good. Uh, so I hear your son went pro. Let's go, Mike. That's what's up. Yeah, yo, we back out here. I gave you uh, other local number. Snoop. Today? I just sent it to you. You call Snoop. You could just put me on the phone with him. Yeah, let's get it. <clears throat> Taylor, I'm gonna get at you once I wrap up what I'm doing over here. Just give me a few once I wrap up. Got some good brothers that I'm mentoring over here. I just wanna see them directly. Show them the love. 90s. Hey, what's up, gang? Hello? What's up, cuzzo? Where you at? Yo. What's up? Where you at? It's polite. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm downstairs. I'm outside. Hi. Hi, um. There you go. Positivity conversation. <clears throat> Gotta get back to positivity. We don't get back to the positive combo. We don't win. Light, was you just in Miami? Yes, I was. But I also just was in Beverly Hills for about four or five hours before I flew out to New York. <laughs> I'll be traveling, y'all know that. And I just was not too long ago in Thailand and Hong Kong. Some people say he's doing this just to be on the run. I'm like, that's an expensive on the run trip. Why not just stay somewhere and stay put? You know, this is why I tell you people tell you craziness. Man, but yeah, the 90s, this is a dope hood. We just got to stop the balance. But this is a dope, dope place, man. People are beautiful people over here. You know, we just got to disseminate more knowledge in the community. And that's why... <coughs> And that's why I'm talking about positivity so much. Positivity will empower you with the ability to amass wealth. That's what we got to be on. That's the time we're on right now. It got to be positive. So even if you get into something that's potentially confrontational, it stands the reason that you got to take the time out to say, you know what? What can I do to maneuver around this situation? And that's what I just was explaining to a real good young brother of mine. Because we was going through a little confrontation on the phone. And... I had to express to him that 
I'm logical enough to deal with him and his lack of discipline in the manner in which he may communicate with me. But you, he, that's just too high an expectation for other brothers of his age. And he's from Chicago. So I'm telling him, you know, I, I don't want to say he's not built like that. But I want to tell you that he's so positive, he don't need to be part of that kind of communication. Because other brothers is, uh, they're lacking in discipline. Okay, other brothers is lacking in discipline and experience. Or they're slow learners. So my experience taught me quite a bit. So I had to build with him like, yo fam. You know, I went to prison because someone called my wife the B word, okay? Somebody referred to my wife as the as a bitch, and I shot him for that. Like, that's where I was. I gotta adjust that. So when I come in the conscious community and people be like, yo, such and such talk about your wife, such and such did this. I'm like, yo, I'm on a whole different time. The first time my little girl hugged me, these is facts. These is facts. Wait for my wife to come back. But the first time my baby girl hugged me, I was in Rikers Island. These are facts. You feel me? Watch this. Where's, where's the first time my act gave me a hug? You can talk louder. Rikers Island, right? Where you used to visit me. And I was looking like 30 plus years. And I'm blessed to be home right now. Facts. And this is all because somebody called you a word. You feel me? Okay, that's, that, and at that time, I'm like, I got a rep for my family. I got to put in pain. Can't nobody disrespect my wife. I'm walking this hood, and, and people know that it's my wife, and they're going to say something negative to her. So that automatically is an infraction against me. And then, you know, I was, I was on some wicked intelligent stuff. So I was so intelligent for a hood brother that I would come up with levels to how disrespectful that actually was because I was just thinking about it on so many different levels by someone doing something like that to someone that they know I'm in a relationship with calculatively they must be looking to offend me and then in my mind I'm like yo if someone's looking to disrespect me in my mind what that told me was that means they might be wanting to fight to the death because in this hood you don't really have a fight and then it just be a fair one and you throw your hands in this hood if you want to throw your hands Slugs wind up being thrown right after. Whether you win or lose, you win the fight. Busting slugs. You lose the fight, the dude still wanna shoot you. You feel me? So out here it was like, yo, bust your gun if you about to get into beef. Because even when you throw your hands, somebody come back after you. I threw my hands, I got stabbed. I threw my hands, I got sliced. I got the I threw my hands, I got shot. I got all the wounds on my body still to this day to prove it. Anytime somebody looks at my arm over here, anytime somebody looks at my arm over here, or they look at my arm on this side. But they look at my back over here. <clears throat> I got the fucking tragedies of war all over my body. <clears throat> Facts. Facts. So you know, that's what it is. Hey, <laughs> look at my nigga. <laughs> What's good, Ken? I'm all alive. I'm about to turn it off soon. Facebook right here. I know you young guys like IG. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my man, stay fresh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, I actually found somebody's phone last night, so I told him I'd just meet him and drop it off to him. You know? Well, you was at the fight yesterday, you on the floor? Yeah, I was on the floor. I was right, right above it. I just was looking at your video to decipher. Where was he at? I was right above it, behind where, um, Oh, no, where everybody, where, where Ross left from. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you was up there. I, see, I seen the video today. The section was uh, section 15. Dope. Section 15. Right there, bro. Yeah, I saw a my sis boy, on the floor. My boy had some floor ticket for me. He called me that same day. Like, I already got tickets. He be with Chris Gotti in them, though. Oh, okay. He into a box about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. So he gave me the key. He said, yeah, I got a ticket for you. I seen sis, too. But I don't, I mean, uh, name. She be looking heavy. She was in that. Yeah, yeah. Logan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly. She was at the fight. On the floor. Or with the blue dreads. No, 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 not her, not her. Sis with the um. Damn. She, she be having like the fur coat and shit. She always throwing up crit. She was with Bolo. At the behind the joint with Bolo, stacking it up, just wilding, just constantly stacking. The one we was on the mic. 
Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to my Instagram, she's like, shout out to Brother Polite, da da da. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tom Upset, what up? I was walking and I just seen somebody throwing up seeds. I'm like, oh, what up, sis? That's her, sis? That's her wife? Nah. Not her. It looked like her, right? She's a mad different over there. Yeah, she was right there. Yeah, I was walking. She was at the Exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was walking. You, you and her was on the mic. Facts. Facts, <coughs> facts, yeah, facts, facts. I'm walking exactly, and I just see somebody throwing up mad seeds. Going, Yo, polite, polite. I'm like, who that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what up, sis? She's like, why you not on the floor? I'm like, we about to do that. Because we was, we, we was sitting from different perspectives and shit. I'm like, yo, we about to come down there. And she was like, all right. Is a fool, so I mean, you stay for the, for the interview? Oh, uh, yeah. like, why your suit don't fit like you from last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga. Said, you looking like 6 9 I like, like blood. Yeah, I right, like, right. Oh, Brona is horrible, man. What is wrong with this guy? You gotta love Brona. Gotta love Agent. Tank had the whole beef on town, huh? Yeah, yeah, they definitely was in. Talking about why they, they put him they, first, though? They came on. I don't know why they threw him. I thought he was second. They put Chalo up Chalo second. second. Chalo second. Chalo beast, that's why. I thought, yeah. but, but Tank, I think Tank brought in probably the most people out of everybody yeah. in the car. Yeah. Whole Baltimore was in town. Bad yeah. Baltimore was in town. I'm talking about where I sat. It was nothing but Be more. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually said, yo, y'all travel for his fights all the time? So like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. He better he better never have one in Be more. Nah, That'd be lit. Yeah. When he come up, he need to do one just for the city. Right. You know, but the, you know, Brooklyn definitely was there for him supporting him too, but Brooklyn, damn. Yeah, he, yeah. Came he came out with the Casanova song. I knew he was gonna do that. I told Jay got that. I told Jamal he was gonna come out. That was perfect song too. I thought he yeah, I thought Cass, I thought Cass was gonna, gonna walk with him. Right. Cass came Cass out later right though. There. They got into it, I think. With six nine people. Tank is one of the fighters on the money team. On public six shit was Who's Tank? He watches Tank, it. Tank, <laughs> Tank is a beast, though. His body shots is different. Dang. It was quick. Yeah. His body shots. He, <laughs> Tank, I said he had to reconsider life when he got hit with one of those. Damn. He backed up. Son ain't even have a drop. chance. Said, Damn. Nigga looking like baby triple G. Charlo calling Triple G. You don't think Charlo ready for Triple G? I don't think so. You think it's just talk? I don't think so. Uh, Charlo want, Charlo Charlo want the fame. That's, That's what's what up with Charlo. Charlo don't want to be on nobody under card. Triple G will give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you give him that fame you looking for? Hell yeah. That's a whole nother machine right there, Triple G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I like, I, I think. I don't I, think Charlo ready but, for Canelo. I, if you think Charlo can rock with Jacob, Charlo will probably rock with That's Triple what G. I asked Jay, though. I said, Jacobs? But Jacobs put in pain, son. Jacobs beat Triple G if you ask me. I believe so, too. Jacobs fight next week in the park, right? Oh, where? Uh, him and Big Baby. Jacobs making bread. He's doing good with this shit. I can't <laughs> fight with Jacobs. I'm from Vegas. I'm from Vegas. Uh, Cat's like, no, Triple G. He's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Ready. Triple G not ready? Uh, no, Triple G. I think they saying Charlo not ready. Yeah, Charlo ain't ready for Triple G. Yeah. Triple G, he breaks him. He, he hit knock anything down in front of him, son. He punched him through you. Yeah. I ain't, yo, when, when Canelo was beating him, and he just got some type of power out of nowhere, son. I'm like, nah, I'm yeah. 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 Canelo definitely boxed him differently than anybody else. Canelo's nice. <laughs> he is. I'm mad that fight ain't going on. I'm going to make it for it. Nobody embarrassed Canelo like freaking Mayweather. And you see what I don't like about it? But Canelo was a Canelo, baby at the time. But you see, this is what I'm saying. His record was already almost 40 wins deep. Oh, he was? When he fought Mayweather, check his record. He was already almost 40. 40. He had like 38 wins or something like that. And and, and he was technically, like years old. you could have said he technically was in his prime. At that time, we was thinking he was probably in his prime. He actually got better now. But Mayweather taught him better. He even threw the little shell like Mayweather's. Yeah, Mayweather taught him. He changed his style up like, like Mayweather's. He do a lot more moving around. He's a lot more tactical. He wasn't doing none of that until after Mayweather. Freddie Roach. Mayweather taught that ass through. Hold on to Because he made, he made Canelo look like he just started boxing. I remember that shit. And then one time, he just kept punching him in his face like this. I'm like, yo. Then he just two-pieced him. I'm like, yo, hold the fuck up. That shit's crazy. I, I was in the cab with somebody that I went to <coughs> class. I didn't even know when it was. 
was, I was just shocked. I found that one when I went to go through the sun up. Oh, where they did it at? The services where Luke was at. Oh, they did the same place? I know, you like, fuck, I'm back in this bitch. All over again. Same shit. Same shit. Like, fuck we doing back here again with another one of our people. It ain't, it ain't, he was dark, son. What? Wow. Yeah, I seen some shit. from the head, it looked like on the face. Man. And he, and he was cuffing the word. Niggas, doing too much, man. Yeah, yeah. My, my homie, Michael Williams, he just started boxing. He just went pro. Where he from? Uh, I see Javante just moved to uh, Vegas. Lock in. If he stay in Vegas, I think he's gonna be Yeah, yeah. He was showing out, but he, yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't a good show out because he was getting tagged. That's when he was um playing around. He came in overweight. Yeah. 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 He, he, he came in focus this one though. Yeah, this one. He came in. Damn, he came. He ain't play games with this guy. Broke him down early. Then Charlo came everybody, in. Everybody, everybody for the Mexican. Yeah. It was, I know it was black person. Yeah. And Charlo talked about it like, yo, you know, Broner don't be finishing off these Mexicans. And then I got to be on the card and I'm going to finish them all. He don't be uh, repping. Yo, we said that. We said that he Broner is going to be the only fight to go to the finish. Hey, everyone can go real quick. The little homie from President for it, too. Richardson. He made what he money team. Nice. I think he fought early, though. He probably fought like 6 o'clock. Uh, I, was, well, I wasn't well. even there yet. I came there at 8 o'clock. Salute to the family. Where y'all went yesterday? Oh, this kind of chilly. Uh, it was just warm, actually. Uh, where we went yesterday? Oh, we, we went to some, some bar or something after. We pulled up a little bar. What's this shit called? Uh, Lust or something like that. That's what that is. Crazy. Yeah, but we ain't That's really... That's what the, um, Tank Davis and, and Broner was in there. Oh, yeah, it's night? That's 50 spot. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She was in there last night. I see 50 put it up like, yo, how I missed last night? I fell asleep like I was the fighter. <laughs> Tank Davis, all of was in there. Yeah, it was it was, it was lit, but then we... we you know, more on they, on, they, on they Baltimore takeover this week, so they was out here having... Yeah. Woodland across the street from the bar play was crazy. Yeah, so we sugar cane, bleachers, everywhere. I was so they did it now and then we was like we went to some old bar on the side and we just chilled. That was last night, yeah. That shit was fucking lit. Right, Davis, Garcia, two four boys. Man, New York. <laughs> New York on tilt yet again. Brooklyn. Yeah, it's a, it was good, man. I gotta come to BK for that. Be coming for you know other situations. I'm like, I wanna come for Momentous occasions. Oh, come down for the tournament. Yeah, you already know. I'm balling. What's the date? Right? Getting it together. What's the date on that though? I ain't ten. Yeah, definitely. I want to get my team. I don't bring a team in. There. Just tell me who I'm talking to. Gotta get the guy from that team. All right. All right. Yeah. Put a team down and run. Pocket full taking that last slot or what? Cool. They're supposed to be. Yeah. Pocket full Dope. I'm ready. I got my vision. I was gonna put two or three NBA cats on my shit <laughs> and make niggas like, what the fuck is this? They play guard. Like, let's go. Cause them niggas, you know, them niggas taller than me. <laughs> but it'd be fun. You know what I'm saying? It'd be mad fun. Hell yeah. No matter already told me he on deck, so I, I'm good. Yeah, I'm up in there too. Yeah. Fucking with the money team and all that. When is that? Uh, that's actually next month on the 14th, I think. Yeah. Next month on the, I think it's the 14th or the 12th. We got a high school team in Washington. Yeah, it's a dope. Little Ron, it's like taller than him right like now. Him. Wow, man. Yeah, yeah, Ron, just like him. Yeah. Just like him. Yeah. He's 
savage for fucking steak. I'm trying to get that man to <laughs> working on him change his diet, man. He his food. Man, that, that dude, he's steaking five times a day if he can. So he, he, he like, yo, I only get as big as LeBron. That's his vibe. He like, yo, I get as big as LeBron. I'm like, LeBron, we got Navy SEALs and everybody training him. You got you to gotta get down with that wave as well. You know what I'm saying? Not just steak. LeBron diet is different. Yeah, LeBron different. <laughs> He's making year 15 look like his prime year in year 9. Strict diets. Okay. One and a half. Right. Right. One and a half mil. 1.4, something like that a year. Those are facts. You're already. It'd be wise. We're going to protect the investment. Facts. Facts. Right back. Where everybody at, man? What's up with Snoop, man? You ain't going Yeah, he told me coming down like 20 minutes ago. Rut just got off the shower. Oh, yeah, I want to say what up to Rut, too, man. <coughs> Damn, police still babysitting over here? Yeah. <laughs> police stay on the babysitting. Oh, Snoop? Yeah, he ain't coming over I'm here. thinking he upstairs. Who that? Polite. Polite. Oh, oh my, what up? Nigga, what's good? I just called you. You probably <laughs> called somebody else. I you called. Call I called you on my wife line. And you said you'd be like 20 minutes. I, I, I get on, I get on the calling that. Man, who the hell was I talking to? Maybe I called. Did you tell me you was Oh, shit. My bad. I called. I called Zeke. Yeah, you called me twice. I called Zeke thinking I called you. I'm chilling, son. I was out here, like, just pulling up, see what y'all up to. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I came over here to say, you know, like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to set you up. Say less. I'm going to go right here in the neighborhood. Touch base when you can. Yeah, yeah. Up, though. What's going on today? Y'all yeah. going to anything tonight or y'all chilling? Um, I was chilling. I was watching the game. That's it. I Word. Don't know what the hell was going on. What's up? The Celtics taking or? Yeah. Damn, they out of here, right? Signed up. Oh, it's tied up. Blazers got swept, son. That's a bad look for Lily. Yeah, very bad. Golden State on now. Westbrook, like, yo. They say, yo, Rubio got a triple double that. I promise you that. Yeah, I'm see? shutting that shit down. <laughs> you know, he said, next time we play, I'm sh I, I love him for that. Yeah, I love yo, give him his props. Yeah, well, I'm, sh I'm shutting that shit down next game. See, that? Wanna, that's how we that. deal. I want to see it, though. Yeah, I love that. That made it exciting. Exactly. It's like, yo, you know, Rubio, man, he just sat there like, man, I'm shutting that shit down. Like, y'all niggas better get y'all, man. But I know my niggas is on ice. <laughs> I love that. I love that about West, man. He ain't playing. Peace to the family. I'm about to sign out. I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to get back with you very shortly. You know, just buying time. Give you the walkthrough. Save it up to some people. It's good walking through, man. The food over here, man. That's what I be loving about Brooklyn, man. Yo, you don't know food till you be in BK and then you leave. I don't be eating fish. I be on a vegan joint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, uh, ain't nothing like out here food wise. I promise you that. San Francisco, bro. San Fran dope, but it ain't, it ain't. You see, it's Caribbean yeah. food is a whole. That's the, yeah, that, that's you why know, we winning. When you buy food. With that Caribbean food. Word, because when you buy food from a store, it's nice when it tastes like it was cooked at home. Yeah. You feel me? Everything else is commercial. When I'm in Cali, it's commercial and it tastes delicious. You know, I, what I like that's about what, them, they that's got... Why, that's why they was winning with the fish by L.A. Yeah, because that shit sound, that tastes like the chips. homeboy yeah. shit. You know, Harlem used to have a dope fish and chip spot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By Deuce that's... Five, near. Just a few blocks from Apollo, that shit was hard body. That nigga said, Negus? Who Negus? Who that? Kim, you talking about Negus that went to school with us? Who that? Oh, somebody said that? Who said that? Oh, Negus? I don't know. I went to 221 and 291. Right. We mean mad people that, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's 
definitely dropping. It was warm when I came out. I had to zip mm -hmm. down. I was in the terrace balling. Oh, word. Yeah. I That's what I was it. wondering. It's a little sweaty. People up in there? It was. There was a few up there. You know where you go? Where you got to go on Sunday? Woodland. Oh, that's where they balling at over there? Nah, where they be at. Like, Man, when you say you was in the terrace, I was looking forward to taking that walk up there just to see what, what it looked like. <laughs> what up? You you training for the event? Training for the two-day shit? Something to get my cardio up. Who team you on? What's the name of your team? I got a team. I got a few hitters coming. <laughs> dope, dope. I got a few hitters. Probably suit up for a couple minutes. I saw Bernie at the fight. I seen Bernie, too. He told me so. As soon as I walked in, actually. Yeah. He like, I just seen Caught me out of nowhere. Like, he was like, yo. Gave me a tap, but oh shit. <laughs> Bernie used to be balling. Facts, he still be balling? Not really. Bernie used to fucking ball. He, he, I used to come to I'm watch sure, the nigga I'm, play. I'm gonna give Bernie a who? Daddy is young. <laughs> Bernie play like Daddy is young. Hustle left hand, do it all. Yeah, Bernie was nice. He's, he's giving me a boy, he do it all. He, he get the job done. Bernie be ready to fight in the games. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he look like he want to box in the middle of the game. I was up there waiting though when you had called me because home girl had called me. She wanted me to give her some bread for man, put on man books. Remember little Jermaine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, bro, Sharky right there. Oh, Sharky. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even realize bread. that was Sharky. Gave him some bread to put on them books. Man, man. How much more time he doing? Probably like three, four years. Young brothers, man. A lot of trash. Which one is that one? This is this, this the grand. <laughs> I'm about that. to see if I can yeah. get some people there. I'm about to close out on this one. <laughs> I was in the terrace live for like 20 minutes and ain't nobody click on my live. I said, this can't be. Yeah, I ain't get the notification. That's what I'm saying. When I get it, I, I, I tap to see what's go, going on. Go on your on. Instagram. See if it can be. Yo, I'm going to salute y'all. See y'all later. You heard? can't be telling nobody I'm live. Did you hear about the four black people killed in a Waffle House by white supremacists? No, I did not. Yeah, my publisher is always sending me some crazy shit. I don't be knowing be going on in the world. Which Waffle House was four black people killed at by white supremacists? That's crazy. Which Waffle House did that happen at? All right, y'all. I'm signing off. I'll see y'all signing off. We're about to get out of here. Once those hundreds start going down to the double digits, I know y'all ready to go. Antioch, Tennessee. Damn. Oh, All right, y'all. Salute to you. Peace to the family. I'm in that says bye. Peace, fam. Thanks for tuning in. Homie Z. Salute. 90s official. This is home. It's where we play Buddha Bean at. I just saw him or not. He told me Cutchy's lurking somewhere around. I ain't seen him in a while. Every Cutchy a weirdo, bro. Cutchy. You know Cutchy, that guy's a weirdo, bro. Yeah, I, I, I ain't seen him in man. I ain't seen him in man.